Martin is a special man who is receiving our care. He is passionate about helping other men avoid the terminal diagnosis he received. This is his story. It is the last Christmas and, uh, you know, it's, um, it will be an emotional time and, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be a hard one. I was diagnosed with terminal prostate cancer in February 2017. It was at least three to four years that uh, the disease had been doing its worst uh, inside my body. So I went straight on to chemo. Um, it was horrific in terms of pain, very debilitating. Uh, spent most of five months in, in, in bed. I took um, a, a while to um, come to terms with the fact that uh, I wasn't going to get better. I'm surrounded by um, loved ones. Um, the dogs are our passion, they're our children. I wanted to give something back to Argyle, wrote to the club, um, and they allowed me to uh, talk to the players in the dressing room, tell my story, and I feel like part of a wider family now, um, and I can't thank them enough. I can't, I can't speak highly enough of um, a Penny, uh, who I'm married to for 24 years, who, uh, who has been... Um, an amazing person. Well, I, I went to uh, St Luke's Hospice to um, take a look at my pain management. I was um, very pleasantly surprised how uh, friendly, light and airy uh, the, the hospice was. It was like a five-star hotel, uh, literally. He had one-to-one -one nursing, one-to-one -one, uh, visits from the doctors every day, so we knew exactly what was going on. It raised his mood, it made him cope better with the situation that he's in. And that was just such a relief, really, to, to, to have back that the person that he was, not just consumed by how the pain was affecting him. I think the, uh, the myths around our building uh, really um, rotate around um, going in and no never coming out, and it couldn't be further from the truth. Um, I went in not really knowing what to expect, but I came out at my choice um, to come home to my family. And the day I came home was uh, remarkable because all the kit was here. Um, Shane has um, basically kitted out the, uh, the house to enable me to make the transition from um, the uh, hospice to home, um, including easy chairs, gantry hoist, um, electric bed, um, you name it. One in eight men will get prostate cancer at some time in their life. Uh, one in four black men will get, will get the uh, disease. Men don't like talking about things below their, their belt, um, which is ridiculous. So if you have any uh, doubt whatsoever in terms of um, symptoms, then go see your GP for a simple checkup. It's too late for me, but it's not too late for you. I think no matter how wonderful the care is at St Luke's, and it is, there's nothing better than, than being at home at Christmas, um, surrounded by your family, the buzz in the air, the excitement of cards and, and, and people arriving, choosing what food you want, um, and spe spending time in a familiar routine and, and in familiar surroundings. Um, you know, that, that's, that's a very special gift, knowing, of course, that, that at the end of the phone uh, is, is help and support should you need it. Um, an invaluable Christmas present. I would say that St Luke's has uh, changed what I've got left of my life. Getting emotional now, but um, basically it's given me the choice of you know, being able to come home um, where I belong. At St Luke's, we are here for families like Martin and Penny, 365 days a year, helping them stay together at the most challenging of times. Please help us to be there for them when time is running short.